Hey, what's up guys? It's Joey and I'm on skates now. So I'll be teaching you a 180 both ways. So something with this trick that really helps is if you know how to skate backwards. So you've already got the landing down pretty much if you know how to skate backwards. Now the transition, well, if you know how to skate backwards, you're most likely going to know how to turn around. But if you don't, I kind of do my transition kind of like this. But if you wanted to jump, that's okay too. Not sure which one is harder. I normally go with my toes and spin around. But you can also kind of... So the key thing in this trick is arms and hips. So you're going to kind of want to get down and wind up for the trick. And if you're going to spin around that way, you're going to want your arms over here get ready to throw all your weight that way but for me I do it this way and so I kind of wind up then I kind of land and or again if you know how to skate backwards you're most likely going to know how to do that then it's the same with you if you're going backwards you kind of do the same thing and then land all right so I'd say this is a more of a beginner to intermediate trick uh, I'd suggest if you're a beginner that get good on your skates first uh, get good on your balance. Uh, you might, speed helps too. I'd recommend starting on shoes so you're not rolling when you're practicing these 180s. Just get good at this, this, and then put your skates on and you'll be rolling. And I think the more speed you have, the more the less of a balancing issue, the less of a chance when you land you're gonna your skates are gonna fly out from under you. Alright, so the main problem with this trick is you can either overshoot or undershoot, and it's the landing. So the landing may throw you off. So if you undershoot, you're suddenly going to be going in that direction. And if you overshoot, then you're suddenly going to be going in that direction. And you don't want that, because you're going that way. If your skates land different, there's a good chance you could fall. So just make sure you got the right amount. That's why I say practice it with your shoes first, so you, got, you get used to how much weight you need to throw around. Do a perfect 180. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. Uh, once you get good on the 180s, there you can also combine them and do a 360. And I'll be showing you how to do that in upcoming videos.